Hey what's going on guys, Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at um, adding the sounds into the background. So uh, some background music, of, um, I've made some um, in just in GarageBand just like playing around with the keys and stuff. Um, uh, but you guys can, uh, you can get it from uh, some websites, I'll have some websites in the description down below. Um, or you can get them from your friends or get them from whatever but you don't want to use any kind of copyrighted stuff so um, make sure they're not copyrighted if you're going to release your game um but for for testing purposes you can actually use other other like copyrighted music and stuff but you won't be able to release the game with that music um okay so what i've done i've already actually put the stuff into the game and i'm just going to simply show you uh, what i did so the first thing i did um if i go into assets i've inc I've, I've added um electric tune and guitar tune uh, this is because I want to be able to change the uh, background music depending on how many points you've got in the game. And I'll cover that in a minute. But if you don't want to do that, then I'll also explain how you can just have one back, one one like music, one song in the background. So to be able to have just one song in the background, you need to drag your file um, onto onto here, just like we did with in the last episode with Boop. Um, and once you bring it in. Um, you're going to want to decide whether you want it to be kind of distorted when you're moving around or not. I would suggest you're probably not going to want it, so um, tick, uh, untick 3D sound, because it it, when you import it, it will come in like this, um, and you want to untick 3D sound, um, and then it will play normally. Um, then what you're going to want to do is create a, um, e either place it on uh, a specific object, or create a um, an empty object, and then inside that object, you're going to want to create an audio source by going uh, component audio audio source and what that's going to do is open up this kind of uh, panel here and from there you're going to want to add your sound in um, on this this line here on, on the audio clip line and you can just click on there and have it there or you can drag it in from the side here onto here like that um, and what that'll do is make it so it plays as much as you want now there are um, some settings you're going to want to um, play around with. Let's let's um, let's. This, it won't have any of this. Um, this stuff isn't useless because this is all 3D stuff. But with the 2D sound panel down here, you're going to want to choose the pan, which will change uh, which side it's coming out of. Which you don't. You 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 shouldn't want to want it to be affected. But if you want to um, create more than one sound coming from each ear then you're going to want to play around with that um, and then it should be fine if you want it to loop then you've got a loop button there and you just press loop if you don't want it to play on awake um, if you want to make it so it plays um, at a different time then you're going to want to untick that um, and then you can put it in the script but for now I'm going to show you how um, I'll, I'll play a little bit of my game and hopefully you'll be able to hear it because um, my video recorder won't record the sound coming out of my speaker, so it's going to have to come from my microphone. Um, so hopefully it's going to be loud enough for you to hear. Um, so I'll press play and we'll give it a shot. So if you can hear that, it's just got a bit of guitar in the background, a little bit of ambient sound. Um, if I collect the guys, then um, it makes a little popping sound, just like before. And my music's actually just looped once, and I don't know if you noticed in the panel on the in the project panel that it all changed. Um, that's because I've had to, I've had to destroy the object and then recreate the object. So if I um, and now just to just to explain why the music's changed is because um, the score has gone above ten, and I set it so when the score's above ten, it changes to this electric guitar. And if you notice when I move around. It um, distorts and gets louder and quieter depending on where I am, um, and it it can, it can make the game quite um, quite eerie. Um, if you if you sort the lighting out and stuff, obviously, you could create quite a, um, a horror game out of it. Um, but if I um, turn that off, I'll explain what what we're going to be doing. So in um, the guitar tune one, uh, I've created the object and. We've just got um, our guitar tune, and then we've got a script here that I created, and I've also got the same for our electric tune, which has its own 
object and we've made them into prefabs over here. Um, so they're the same apart from my electric tune has 3D sound turned on. Um, I'm going to turn that off now because I don't want it to be on. Um, but you can leave it on if you want. Um, so yeah, so and then you've got to apply it and you've just got to let it um, change it because it changes what, what the sound is like. Anyway, so inside our scripts we've got two new scripts, one's elec and one's guitar. So if I open one of them up, let's open guitar, um, this is a script for guitar which um, has two variables, it's got the guitar and the electric one um, and they're just the game objects um, that we had before and then we start our function with a check um, update which is just a custom update that I've made, uh, a function, just a custom function that I've made and um, inside there um, the first thing it does before it does anything else, before it checks anything, it waits for 13 seconds because that's that's the amount of time it takes until the um, tune ends. Um, and then once that's done, it checks whether um, the score from Joe Move. Um, now this is quite an important bit. Inside Joe Move, I have made um, score a static variable, and what that means is you can um, pull it from another um, script. So if that's you need to change that to a static variable if you're going to do what I'm doing, um, and then into our guitar wait again, um, it checks if the Joe Move scripts score variable. So you need to put the name of the script and then the name of the variable um, with a dot in between, and then if that is less than ten, then it will create the guitar object again and then it'll wait for one second to destroy itself because I wanted them to kind of overlap a little bit so it doesn't kind of cut um, because it's got a little bit of ambience at the end um, so it does that and then it obviously if it if it's less than 10 then it'll create another one and it'll just keep looping until you have more than 10 points and then if you've got more than or equal to 10 uh, in exactly the same function uh, exactly the same um, script there um, then it creates the electric one and then it waits for one second again and then destroys itself so this way instead of kind of cutting off the minute that we get above 10 points it waits for the end of the um, tune before it checks whether it's going to play again and what that means is that it, it kind of it loops better it sounds a little bit nicer and hopefully uh, people won't notice that it kind of changes exactly on 10 because they'll be running around trying to collect more points um, so so yeah so inside our electric one um, it's a little bit simpler uh, because it doesn't need to check whether it needs to change down uh, but it doesn't need to check whether the uh, stuff from Joe, whether the score from Joe Move is anything different. So this one's just got um, an elect, which is basically just going to create itself, and then it has a. It, I just copied it over from the other one, so it's just got a check, and what it does is it waits for 13 seconds, creates, and then it creates itself again, and then waits for a second, and then destroys itself. So it, it will do that until the end of the game, and um, that is how you kind of create the way that I've got it set up now, and one thing, one key thing is that the object is simply just in the middle of the room and um, so that che that affects a lot of things because um, the size of this um, minimum distance um, will affect the amount, uh, whereabouts you can hear it from um, so if we set that all the way then it will be full volume all the time if we set it to like there then um, the maximum distance whale out here so it's not gonna um, we're not gonna worry too much about the maximum distance but um, it's gonna be a little bit quieter out here than it is in the in the center um, so if you want it to be full volume all the time then you're gonna have to put that straight out um, or you could turn this to um, a linear one or something like that um, so that's all I'm gonna cover in this video um, in the next video I'm gonna talk about uh, creating levels different levels um, so we can kind of jump between things and you can use that to create a start level um, if you want there to be like a um, an interactive start start menu rather than just like a list um, so we'll cover that in the next video and uh, thanks for watching guys uh, don't forget to like and comment if you have any uh, requests and um, yeah I'll see you next time